What's up? So I find myself checking the Neville Reddit again because it's good stuff. There's just good posts on here and they really get you thinking. And this one in particular, again, resonated with me because I've had similar, similar experiences to this. So this is by Water Lily Dev, posted four days ago, and it's got 91 upvotes. And it's called, Desires are manifested, but can't grab them. So I've been man manifesting money in a dream job in the past few months. Now they seem to come touching my fingers, but they move away before I grab them. Two dream job opportunities were offered to me, but for various reasons, I just can't take them either because of pay range, term, location, or family issue. I want a gift card in an event, but somehow I missed the message and didn't respond. Then I lost it. A few items I put on Facebook Marketplace for sale. They were almost there for a year and I basically forgot about them. All of a sudden, someone contacted me to buy them. Arrangements are made to meet, but the person didn't show up. I feel there's a barrier somewhere. I need a breakthrough or enlightenment, but I can't figure it out. In general, I assume a feeling of being blessed, happy, and positive. I'm not attached to the desire. I do those affirmations in Joseph Murphy's book and truly feel it. I visualize, though not daily. I also listen to Brian Scott's sleep affirmations throughout the night, but I know sometimes I could still say, oh, that's so expensive. I can't afford it. Then immediately I'll say, God is my instant supply that is paid for. But the general plan of my life is based on not adequate. Sometimes I also fight the feelings of not deserving the dream job slash pay. Feel I'm not smart and intelligent enough. Now, as I write, in writing this post, I seem to have figured out the reason of barriers. Am I right? New insight? If these are the barriers, how do you go about having an abundant life while facing day-to-day -day money struggling? How do you assume a feeling of being smart and fun while you're awkward in social settings? I'm also fighting with forgetfulness. How do I break these barriers so that I can eventually grab those desires and hold them tight into my life? Okay, so there's a lot of comments here and the top comment is by somebody named peace inner five i was once in your situation but i had a realization that it's because i keep these greater things in life on a pedestal once i took them off the pedestal things moved pretty fast which actually made me go wow always remember the objective to the objective reality manifesting an ice cream cone Always remember, to the objective reality, manifesting an ice cream cone is the same as manifesting a Range Rover. Money is just a social construct everyone seems to follow. Make Maybe take a few days off, go on a trip, or even just go outside and look at the big black sky. Every star you see is something bigger. And the best part is that you were one with it all. I know you'll break through the ceiling soon. So yeah, so this gets me to, you know, this, the reason I relate to this is because I've had experiences like this where, you know, I feel I've gotten so close to manifesting certain things and even certain things that I did manifest, but then they didn't stay. They didn't stick around because I, you know, there are certain things I've talked about this before about my desire to. You know, I make music. I've made music for a long time. I've, I've had a desire to make money off my creative endeavors and be a successful creative as an artist, doing, you know, as a, as a model and doing different things that are, you know, I used to be into acting when I was a kid and I actually did, I was in a commercial when I was a kid for Macy's. Um, but throughout my adult life, those things, they just weren't, they just won't, you know, it, it, that's the reason though, is there's, you, you have these certain things and you make them too important. And that's why I love about Aim Zeeland's books on the concept of lowering importance. I think he explains it in a way where it's easy to grasp. I mean, people say his books are, are complicated. They are, um, they're long, but I, I like the way that he breaks it down in that. <clears throat> so the best part is being your one with it all. Every star you see is something bigger. 
That's why I've been talking about Eckhart Tolle as well lately is because being in the now, being in the present moment, when you, and you realize also all, bi all manifestations, big or small, are, fl are not gonna be around forever. They're, they're all fleeting. Like the 3D reality that we're in is fleeting. And you know, when you're able, like even the big manifestations that you get, even if you get a million dollars, if you really go into meditation and really become that guy or girl that has it, that has the thing that you've been wanting, something on my face here. Um, you realize that, okay, and, and I've talked about this in another video before, it's like, okay, and, you know, like the ego is so strong and powerful, it, it will never be satisfied. You could have all the stuff that you want. You could have the Range Rover. You could have the house in the Hollywood Hills if that's what you want. You could have the fucking ideal SP for yourself. And you and you can go into that you in a meditation. If you really are meditating properly, you can go into all of that. And you've always already had experiences in your life where you wanted something so bad and you got it. What happens after that? You're happy for a little bit, but the ego comes in again or the the pain body or whatever you want to call this kind of force that causes us to think okay well it's not good enough what else can i get me 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 i need more and that is something that you you when you come and you realize and you become present to the moment and are in the power of now you will then be more detached and that is a, a factor in becoming the watcher, becoming the watcher of your thoughts, not becoming so identified with your thoughts or identified with the outer reality. You can become identified with the higher self. You can become identified with the inner world. And the paradox is the more that you identify with the inner world, the more that you uh, well, the more that you at least make that more real, the more that the outer world will then reflect the inner world. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I mean, I guess to get, you know, this makes me actually, you know, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to bring this up, but because there is another post in here where the guy talks about manifesting a threesome. I, I could bring it up, I suppose, but let's see. So this guy says, his name is Driemo86. Um, somebody else is in here is talking about how they've not been able to manifest and yes. So he says, I wanna tell you something very important. Manifesting is nice if you do it consciously, but what's far more important is your inner peace, unconditional happiness, being free of emotional pain, being detached to outer stuff, feeling your I am, getting out of your thoughts and obsessive thinking. That's why I meditate a lot recently. Uh, I urge you to read Eckhart Tolle. And this guy, this is written in a post called I Manifested a Threesome. Both books. Read my post about negative feelings and check the YouTube channel and personal mastery quest. We can only enjoy our manifestations if our inner state feels right. Even the best and biggest things in life can only bring you joy for a limited time. If you look for outer things to satisfy you, you will have an endless fight for positive emotions that can never be won in the long term. Because our ego is never ever satisfied, learn how to be present, learn how to detach, learn to feel yourself again and get out of your thoughts. And then he says a reply, sats, the only purpose is to shift your state and feeling to the wish fulfilled. No need to do it for hours. You can do it in the daytime. If you fall asleep with it, fine, but it's not necessary. Train yourself feeling of being the man who has it all. Meditate the shift out, out of you and you, or meditate the shit out of you. I guess it's saying meditate the, the bullshit out and you will see that all your desires are basically meaningless and you can be fulfilled without any of that. Only then can you enjoy these little things or big things in 3D, otherwise you're doomed. I know what I'm talking about. 
Feeling your aliveness, your being, your awareness, your I am should be the number one priority in everybody's life. Then manifestations will come in easily and it will be fun, not struggle. So I like that a lot. I'll put a link to this post as well in the description. But yeah, this guy, you know, he, in this post, he's talking about, I, he, I manifested a threesome within a week. That's the name of the post. And he says he's pretty experienced with women. He slept with almost a hundred and, but he hadn't had a threesome and blah, blah, blah. I could do, I could do a, um, I could do a video on this if that's what we want to do. I, I think it's interesting. I think why not? But just to share my own personal experience that's kind of similar is I also wanted to manifest a threesome. I also wanted to just have that experience because I think it's a it's an amazing experience. And there have been multiple times in my life that I got actually really like just super close to having the experience, but it didn't really it didn't really happen. It didn't really come to fruition. And I think it's a symptom again of putting it on a pedestal. And just the same way as like with my music or with uh you know, wanting to be uh, influential or wanting to have a platform as an artist or as a creative or as some sort of superstar type persona, that is something that I've wanted since I was a kid. I used to read Vanity Fair magazine. We used to have it at my house. I used to do acting, as I said, I used to do theater and I was interested in all of this type of stuff ever since I was a little kid. I would put posters up on my wall of actors and singers and shit. Low key, I used to have a crush on the Spice Girls. And I was like, I would imagine literally like myself in music videos and stuff when I was like a little freaking kid. Like when I was like eight or nine years old, I really also started like writing songs and getting into that. And I've gone into this in other videos. I went through a really rough patch um, just due to family circumstances and everything when I was about from 10 to 12. And so, you know, all of that kind of just, all of that kind of got uh, just put on the on the wayside. Um, and then la later, until later on, I started making music and shit again. But guys, the pedestal, that shit is real. That is why I talk about trans surfing. The concepts in there have really made it more easy for my logical brain to grasp. I think that people really love Neville and resonate with Neville because he just makes it so simple. Uh, to some people, it can be very complex, but the way people talk about it on Reddit, they're like, oh yeah, just be in the feeling state. Just be, just feel as if your desire is already here. But my logical mind accepts the way that Vadim breaks it down. It's like, yeah, you have, you're creating this energetic thing. It's like this, this, this type of crazy energy with this excess potential. You need to lower that importance. And it, you just, you see that happening all the time. So anyways, guys, I hope that this gives you some, something to nibble on, something to chew on, because this, if I think about it, that's the issue. That's really the main issue the barriers, I, that, that, so that comment that I read that was replied to the main comment actually has more upvotes than the original post. And I think that should, you know, be at least sort of an indication that, yeah, that makes sense. It, it literally makes sense that those are things because, because we're all manifesting all the time. We're all manifesting, you know, a uh, YouTuber, his name is Joseph Ally. He has the list technique. <clears throat> And I was even doing this like subconsciously before I, I heard about his technique, but like, cause I would just imagine everyone always treats me really well. Everywhere I go, people are smiling at me. People give me compliments all the time. But I started actually writing it down because he's like, I get a free cup of coffee or in his example. And this guy also gave that example, the author of this post, the, the threesome guy. And it's just like, yeah, like everywhere I go, like I'm getting free drinks. And he says that the women buy him drinks. Um, I'm getting complimented every day. I find money on the ground. Those things are just easier for us as 3D beings to accept than the Range Rover is in the front yard or my SP is in, or I have two women right now in my bed and I'm having a threesome. Depending on where you're at, all of these things seem like bigger manifestations, you know, your, your mind is saying, what is the chance of me having this threesome? That means that both girls are into me. He mentions this in the post. 
both of them are bisexual, both of them are into each other, both of them are available, like, they're, they don't already have boyfriends or they're not spoken for. It's just like, your logical mind will be like, what the hell, like, there's no way that I'm gonna manifest this. Or, yeah, my SP, the girl of my dreams, or the guy of my dreams, how could I get that? How am I gonna get the Range Rover? I don't have just an extra 100K sitting in the bank to just buy them, you know what, so, the lowering of the importance, the taking it off the pedestal, guys. Um, and I think he broke it down pretty well. So anyways, guys, appreciate you guys. Love uh, and peace, as always, to everybody watching. Um, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys soon. Much love, take care, and I will see y'all soon.